top 3 ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, welcome back to this new edition dedicated to the 2022 Halloween party, many of you are around to terrify people, others prefer to be terrified. Wherever you are or what you are doing, the night will be long, so, I wish you all happy Halloween, let's start our special episode. The Hospital Poltergeist There are many haunted places in the world, some of which are hospitals or nursing homes. The peculiarity of these places is that the sufferings, atrocities and deaths they have seen, are so powerful that they manifest themselves at any time of day and even if they are not abandoned. We are in Brazil, a hospital security guard is making his patrol when he hears loud noises from the underground level minus one, where the mortuaries are present. This is not the first time this has happened, and many of his colleagues do not believe these events. Terrified, he goes down to the floor with his colleague and turns on his mobile phone camera to record what was happening on video. Sinistra, tipo louco, meu Deus. Faces of Death In the 1800s, Victorians were intimately acquainted with death. The Civil War, the bloodiest war in America's history, touched nearly every family in the country, north and south. The war's aftermath also left mass carnage in the form of epidemics of soldier suicides and death from opiate addiction and alcoholism. Infant mortality was also horrific, and much higher in America than in Europe. Smallpox, typhus and yellow fever afflicted the masses especially in slums and crowded municipalities and no antibiotics or vaccines existed, nor were most sanitary medical procedures yet recognized. And, to make matters worse, fear of being buried alive, which had happened with terrifying regularity with comatose Civil War casualties mistaken for dead, became a Victorian phobia. With the advent of photography and the introduction of the daguerreotype in 1839, photographing the dead immediately became a mourning ritual for Victorians. Post-mortem photographers had a slogan, secure the shadow, ere the substance fades. It was a morbid saying that reflected the Victorian fascination with death and the fleeting nature of mortality, as well as the nexus of photography, a new technology that could preserve images beyond death. Even beyond the grave, a loved one could live forever. In fact, death photographs were called mirrors with memories, and were often the only images remaining of past loved ones. Now, we want to show you a roundup of photos that immortalize that period, be ready. Think that these are the least horrible, there was also the cult of photographing the headless and mutilated bodies, definitely a strange way of remembering loved ones. 
the bike path. Recently, a very weird video went viral on the TikTok circuit. We are in southern Mexico, precisely in the state of Oaxaca, an area infamous for the bloody battles of the Mexican War of Independence. Here lives Jose Maria, a young TikToker who posts on his channel scenes of everyday life, jokes made on friends, lunches, and many mountain bike routes filmed in first person with the GoPro in his helmet, his favorite passion. But on October 5, 2022, during a night out on a bicycle with his friends, Jose picks up something that terrifies and totally upsets the group. During the bumpy path, Jose dodges with his bike the figure of a woman covered by a veil and, as seen in the still image, with a grayish face. The group later stops convinced that they have seen someone along the path but the boys do not immediately realize what it is, only after having seen the videos they understand that all this is not possible. However, they immediately decide to go back to provide help or to find out if it was an animal. Volvimos a recorrer el sendero para revisar donde pasamos. Pues ya venimos a recorrer de nuevo. La mayoría se quiere sacar de dudas porque piensan que fue una edición, pero la verdad les soy honesto, anoche descargué los videos a mi teléfono, pero como ya estábamos cansados, yo los mandé al grupo de, de BC Kings, los mandé y la verdad ni los analicé ni los vi, así como los descargué así se los mandé a mis camaradas, y la verdad hasta hoy en la mañana empecé a ver los mensajes de que En tal segundo aparece tal cosa y venimos a corroborar a ver qué qué cosa es. A lo mejor es un árbol, a lo mejor es efecto de la de las lámparas. Pues Acá está en árbol en medio de. Once the exact place of the apparition has been identified, the boys find nothing. But in the comments, the users are terrified. Just where the boys declare they see nothing, there is something with them. Pay attention to the following images. In the comments Jose will tell his followers that he has shown the video to his neighbors, experts in this rural area and they say that it is not the first time that something supernatural has manifested itself to people. Halloween is a popular festival of Celtic origin, today typical of the United States and Canada, by now the whole world knows it and many countries have adopted this holiday, which is celebrated on the night between October 31st and November 1st with jokes and macabre disguises and carrying in procession pumpkins carved and illuminated inside. No matter what you are doing, have fun but don't forget that tonight, is the night of the witches. The Haunted Abandoned Women's Insane Asylum Chris is a paranormal investigator and explorer who recently opened a YouTube channel where he publishes his base patrols on the territory of Norfolk, Massachusetts, USA. With over 130 videos posted, some of them really scary shot in abandoned buildings, on October 14, 2022 Chris posted a terrifying video shot at an abandoned women-only asylum on the channel titled, Realm Explore. As often happens Chris reported strange paranormal phenomena during the video, but his followers in the comments revealed other gruesome ones.
What is up y'all? Welcome back to another exploration adventure. Today I'm at an abandoned insane asylum that was opened in 1914 and closed down in 1998. So this insane asylum actually only housed women from the ages of 16 to 45. Chris is in the central hall of the asylum. The day is about to end and he is about to explore the inside of the building. The first room is a very large theater, with one room still full of old lighting and camera equipment. Then, he ventures into the nearby hall, a large gym with stands and, here, something really strange begins to manifest itself. Get real slow here. But yeah. Yeah, the floor is very bad here. That's actually real. Did you see it? From one of the doors at the end of the corridor, a dark shadow crosses the entrance quickly and then disappears. Really cool um, to have a theater right above your gym. Like, look at this. Got a basketball hoop. The hoop actually looks pretty good still. I'm gonna get down there, but Let's see how I make my way over there. And again, the same dark shadow with the same speed. Got all your seats. Behind the showers of the gym, Chris finds a tunnel that leads to the other part of the building but does not feel safe and decides to return later. The other part of the building. And you know me, I love tunnels. Oh, look at this. That goes right outside. Look at that. I hear tons of flies. I hear tons of flies down here. Oh my god. There are so many bugs down here. I know where this tunnel goes to. I don't want to go down a tunnel yet. But this will definitely get me to the other buildings, like way across the way. I want to get into the building next to me, not all the way across it yet. So you know what? I'm going to save this tunnel to get me to the other building. The building is huge and Chris walks through almost everything facing really scary situations, completely dark corridors and creepy areas like the crematorium. I hear them talking. But I can't. I cannot see the room. Watch my head. This gets so much creepier. Hello? As soon as he walks through the doors of this upper floor, Chris feels observed and asks if anyone is there, but he does not notice that something on his left was observing him. Hello? Is there anybody here who would like to communicate with me? Got a quick yes by a man. Anyone who worked here? Maybe a yes right there. Maybe. My name is Chris. I mean you no harm. Please let me know your name. Do you want me to leave here? I thought I just heard a bang. Hello? Can you please make a noise for me? Let me know.
we know you're here. What the? Yo, I know you guys heard that. Yo, that was crazy. Terrified and unwanted by the entity contacted at the place with the spirits box, Chris decides to abandon the investigation for security reasons. Friends, thank you for following us, Halloween night awaits you, so I wish you good fun and I always give you an appointment here, on our social channels and on YouTube, if you liked the video, please like us and we will protect you from the dangers of the night. <laughs>